What up, guys? It's Nick, and we are back to take on Partners. I played part of this, and then I got interrupted by work. Because they called... Because there was an issue with... Yeah. Doesn't matter. There was an issue at work, they called me. And so I had to, have to restart the episode. No big deal, though. It was only about, like, five minutes in. But it, it was at, like, an awkward point where I couldn't, like, just mute my mic and then pause the game and then edit it out. It was at, like, a weird point where I was, like, I had to answer the phone. And it was, like, an un... It, I couldn't have paused it. It was in a cutscene type talking. So. I was kind of just stuck. So. Luckily, it was only a couple minutes in. So no harm, no foul. I'm just gonna go ahead and find Hank. Like, obviously, I know which one is Hank after playing this. Um, you could scan everybody else, but there's not really a need. What's your problem? Can I? Let me scan him. Do I have drink? Or do I have to literally scan everybody else? Probably well, gonna make me scan everybody else. Oh, no, hold on. Hold on. There we go. So what is Hank? Hank is 10 years older than, than I would be. Lieutenant Anderson, my name is Connor. I'm the android sent by CyberLife. I looked for you at the station, but nobody knew where you were. They said you were probably having a drink nearby. I was lucky to find you at the fifth bar. What do you want? You were assigned a case early this evening. A homicide involving a CyberLife android. In accordance with procedure, the company has allocated a specialized model to assist investigators. Well, I don't need any assistance. Especially not from a plastic asshole like you. So just be a good little robot and get the fuck out of here. I need to piss him off. I understand that but... some people are not comfortable in the presence of androids, but I, I... am perfectly comfortable. Now back off before I crush you like an empty beer can. Lieutenant Anderson, I must inform you that I intend to file a report on your behavior. I have to make... I can't make him like me. I apologize, Lieutenant. I didn't mean to bother you. I'll wait for you outside. Take your time. Did you say homicide? There's one magazine in this chapter, but other than that, not a whole lot. I don't want to make Hank hate me, and I don't want him to kill himself in the end. I, I know I said, I'm going to limit the spoilers, but that is something. I, I need Hank to hate me, so he kills me in the one... In the one you See. wait here. Won't do well. But I can't, uh... No way. I'm coming with you. Listen, you really have to stop pissing me off if you want to make it to the rest of the night in one piece. But, uh... I need him to kill me in the one part, but I need him alive in the end so that he can complete... So that we can complete the game. Josh Douglas for Channel 16. Can you confirm that this is a homicide? I'm not confirming anything. Typical DPD. They don't tell us shit. Androids are not permitted beyond this point. It's with me. I think I just can't get him to friend status. You don't talk, you don't touch anything, and you stay out of my way. Got it? Got it. Even at Hank, we were starting to think you weren't going to show. Yeah, that was the plan till this asshole found me. So, you got yourself an android, huh? Oh, very funny. Just tell me what happened. I don't want him to despise me. hadn't paid his rent for a few months, so he thought he'd drop by, see what was going on. That's when he found the body. 
I'll talk more about it here. Jesus, that smell it was even worse before we opened the windows. The victim's name's Carlos Ortiz. He has a record for theft and aggravated assault. According to the neighbors, he was kind of a loner. Stayed inside most of the time. They hardly ever saw him. Well, I'll stay these in. Not worth calling everybody out in the middle of the night. Could have waited till morning. I'd say he's been there for a good three weeks. We'll know more when the coroner gets here. There's a kitchen knife over here. Probably the murder weapon. Any sign of a break-in? Nope. The landlord said the front door was locked from the inside. All the windows were boarded up. The killer must have gone out the back way. What do we know about his android? Not much. The neighbors confirmed he had one, but it wasn't here when we arrived. I, I gotta get some air. No. Make yourself at home. I'll be outside if you need me. So, like I was saying, I, uh... I need Hank to... I, I think I'm just gonna treat him like a friend the entire time. But then the certain things I do will piss him off and then hopefully he kills me. I don't think you have to have him despise you. I just think he needs to not like you. I think it's hard for him to shoot you if he likes you, but... Uh, I will probably look into it a little bit further uh, before we get too far into the game. This dude just has. <laughs> I never noticed this on his fridge. Hold on, let me see if I can tell the camera. It's really not gonna let me. Okay, here we go. This dude just has a bunch of half-naked women on his refrigerator, dude. Carlos Ortiz. Should have bought yourself a female android, homie. You're gonna be a weirdo. Each letter is perfect. It's way too neat. No human rights like this. Chris, I wonder. Is this written in the victim's blood? I would say so. I just want to make a one quick for test. Analysis. Obviously, you're gonna miss learning stuff about this mission, but... Red ice. Seems our friend Carlos liked the party. Chris, I want full analysis on the knife. I can't do it. I was gonna Thanks. see if I could just talk to Hank and answer Consider it done, Lieutenant. Here. check samples in real time. I'm sorry. I should have warned you. Okay, just don't put any more evidence in your mouth. You got it? Got it. <sighs> Fucking hell, I can't believe this shit. I never got... If he can just check it like this, because he does it later in the game, why does he even check it by tasting it? Hey, Mike, you finished taking samples there? Yeah. That's it. Eden Club sounds like it's probably an actual place in Detroit. I wonder if it is. do the bathroom. I know that. So, there's 6 out of 10. There's 7 out of 10. Oh, yeah, 7 out of 10. Alright, we're back. I don't know what happened. My PBR crashed, but it crashed at a good point, so I can just splice these two things together. And we're good to go. Hopefully it doesn't do whatever the heck it did again. It's why I'm happy that my new laptop is coming today, then I don't have to actually worry about this crap anymore. 
Probably... I need to, uh, probably get a new cord for my PBR. Um, just a new plug-in. It, it's just been used a lot, and it gets plugged into different and newer devices all the time, so... Probably just need to take the time to re-check it. Or to get a new wire. I don't know why I said check it. Or just get a new wire. It just disconnected. Not entirely sure why. It'll be easy enough to splice the door was locked from the inside. Killer must have gone out this way. There are no footprints apart from Officer Collins' size 10 shoes. Well, this happened weeks ago. Tracks could have faded. No. This type of soil would retain a trace. Nobody's been out here for a long time. So they should just leave the last clue in the middle of the... Keeping the car. Oh, no. He should have been there a half hour. He's on his way. It won't be long now. Red ice. Acetone. Well, who wants to use drugs? Acetone? Like, come on, man. That shit's crazy. Who the hell? For one, like doing hard drugs. Oh my god. You gotta be, like, insane. But, like, that shit has acetone in it, man. That shit's insane. Hold on. One second. Do this. Yeah, Carlos Ortiz is dead. It has acetone, lithium, I don't know what ethereum is. Toline and hydrochloric acid. Oh my god, dude. If you actually put that shit in your body, you are absolutely insane. So was our boy Carlos, Carlos Packin. He was 5'6", so he was short. Carlos here was a blueberry. He can be big. Can't be short and big because it just looks weird. Cause I'm a short guy. I'm like uh, I'm five seven, five eight, depending. And so understand when I used to be a lot bigger, it was like crazy. You just hold weight different. It's kind of crazy. He was stabbed twenty eight times. Yeah. Seems like the killer really had it in for him. Tall people have it much easier when it comes to, like, weight and looking, like, a certain way. Like, looking in shape. It's much easier for, like, um, for tall people. Alright, what am I- oh, I'm supposed to reach for it, for it, huh? I was trying to advance and <laughs> go to the ladder and so find this guy. All right, Hank. Lieutenant, I think I figured out what happened. Oh, yeah? Shoot, I'm all ears. It all started in the kitchen. There are obvious signs of a struggle. The question is, what exactly happened here? I think the victim attacked the android with the bat. That lines up with the evidence. Go on. The android stabbed the victim. So the android was trying to defend itself, right? Okay, then what happened? The victim fled to... I like how they do this part. It's really well done. Maybe 
tried to get away from the android. All right, that makes sense. The android murdered the victim with the knife. Okay. Your theory's not totally ridiculous. But it doesn't tell us where the android went. He's in the attic. He was damaged by the bat and lost some therium. Lost some what? Therium. You call it blue blood. It's the fluid that powers androids' biocomponents. It evaporates after a few hours and becomes invisible to the naked eye. But I bet you can oh. see it. But I bet you can still see it, can't you? Correct. Yeah. Look, Hank's have Hank is having fun. I already know where this leads. So the interrogation is hard because I need to get the guy to kill me. So I might actually kind of watch a, I might check a tutorial because I, I know how you get him to just straight kill himself, but I'm not entirely sure how I get it to where I, uh, he kills me and himself. Good thing androids feel no fear. Oh, you can actually see him there. I actually never saw him before. But he's actually sitting in that chair. get what else I could do in this. What's the other path? You fail that stupid checkpoint and I and you don't pass? Like I don't really get it. Con there's Connor knows what happened and what? There's Connor doesn't know what happened and he's an idiot. But uh that one's seventy eight percent complete. But yeah guys that's gonna do it for this episode. Um Sorry about the technical difficulties about halfway through. I don't really know what happened. The good thing is, is it really didn't mess anything up because it did that. And then, um, right when it did that, I opened the curtain so it was able to, like, pause so I could, you know, set it up and, you know, do this. Uh, and, and just re-plug in my PVR and reset it up. But, yeah, that's going to do it for this episode, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. We'll be back, uh... 
with the next episode, Stormy Night, which doesn't have anything in it, but I have some things I want to do in it. But uh, yeah, I'll catch you guys then. Peace out.